Hey everyone, so I have a fabulous Makeup Geek haul for you today. This is my first purchase from Makeup Geek. I actually got these for my Christmas uh, presents and I've just been going through videos trying to slowly but surely show you guys everything that I got um, and do some hauls for you. So I really have been researching a lot about Makeup Geek and seeing some amazing products and amazing reviews and people are just so in love with the products. So there's uh, quite a few things that I got to try out the brand and so far I'm super impressed. The first thing I got are four uh, brushes and I just got these basically just kind of to continue kind of branching out in the brush world and these seemed like really great brushes. I got the outer V brush, I got the soft dome brush, I got the stiff dome brush and the crease brush and they are really beautiful. Um, they have Makeup Geek on them. They have really nice soft quality. I have used which one? I've used the crease brush and um, I believe I've used the outer V one and I really like it so far. So I'm going to continue using these and I can do kind of a, a review on that. I also got uh, some shadows and I put this, I got this in my Coastal Scents haul and I will finally be able to do my Coastal Scents uh, Black Friday haul because I um, finally got the products that didn't come in the order. So they just sent it today. This did come in the order so I've been using it and it's a palette and I put all of the Makeup Geek shadows that I purchased in it. It's perfect. It was really inexpensive because it was 50% off because um, Coastal Scents had that great sale. And I actually had bought from uh, Makeup Geek as well the Z palette uh, little round magnets that are stickers because I didn't think that these were going to magnetize, but they actually do. So I know that I'll be able to use this in a Z palette or something like that. Oh, they just dumped everywhere. <laughs> didn't know it was open. So I know I'll be able to use those, so I'm not too worried about it. But I got nine shadows, um, and I'm using most of them today. The first shadow I got was Shimmer Shimmer, which is a beautiful, as you can see, just gorgeous champagne. It is so soft and buttery and has just gorgeous pigmentation. The other two you can't really see because they are basically my skin tone, but I got Vanilla Bean, which is a beautiful um, highlight color for my skin. Skin. And this is a matte color and it's just beautiful for the highlight. I'm wearing that and I'm also wearing Shimmer Shimmer on the um, outer or the inner corner. And then I also got uh, Beaches and Cream. And this I think is a really pretty color to put um, above your blending and like crease color. I just think it's a really great transition color to get to your brow bone if that makes much sense. This color I got is Homecoming which is a beautiful uh, shimmery taupe color and it's got some really nice shine to it. It doesn't have glitter in it. It's just got a beautiful frost. So I love this color. I also got Cocoa Bear which is this color and it's a beautiful matte brown but it's got some nice kind of red tones to it so it really warms up the look. I've got that also um, in kind of like the outer V I mixed it with the next color which is Corrupt which is a matte black and it is beautiful and so pigmented. Um, it's just a super pigmented black right there. That's just like a tiny little swatch and you can see how dark it is. So I kind of mix that in the outer V. Tango Tango, which is a really pretty just kind of corally pink color. And this also is kind of, it's almost kind of like a terracotta pink. And it's just got a great kind of warm tone to it, which is really beautiful to have like a neutral eye, but with just these warm colors. Next we got Apple Teeny, which is right here. And it's a beautiful shimmery, almost lime green color, and I really think it's beautiful. It's just a nice kind of mermaid green color. I love it. And then I also got a Dirty Martini, which is right here. These swatches are kind of out of control. Um, and this is just a nice olive deep green. I don't have anything like this in my collection, so this was definitely one that I wanted to get. I got several of the pigments, and I won't uh, swatch all these. Maybe I'll do like some swatches on my Instagram and Twitter. Let me know if you'd like to see that. But I got Insomnia, which is a beautiful kind of green-brown duochrome color. Birthday Wish, which is actually the color that I have on my lids, and this is a beautiful color. It's kind of like a champagne-y pink. It's got some rose hints into it, some bronze hints to it. Time 
standout is Utopia. This color is insane. It is just a, I mean, I can't even talk about it. It's so beautiful. I don't want to get it everywhere, but it is a super chunky gold, like antique gold glitter, and it goes on so beautifully, and it's just a all-time amazing must-have pigment in your collection. You have to get that. It's just insane. Um, the next one I got was Vegas Lights, which um, it is kind of like a rusty bronze color. Got a lot of like reddish orange tones to it. And again, I haven't tried a lot of these yet because I've been playing around with a lot of makeup and haven't gotten to these. Um, and then I also got Afterglow, which is, I guess, just a very shimmery highlight color. Kind of like shimmer shimmer, I think, in a pigment. But not least, I got Prince Charming, which is a beautiful light, silvery um, pigment that's just... It looks really pretty. I think I, I opened this one. I don't think I used it. I just swatched it. But it's... All of them are just insane. I'm very excited. And the packaging is so cute. I also wanted to try two of the uh, eyeliners, the gel eyeliners. I got electric because that color is just insane. And no one has a color like this. And I watched a tutorial of Makeup Geek uh, Marlena's. And she put this in the waterline and it looked so good. And then this color is Mystic, which I think is just a beautiful kind of mermaid green, kind of like this gorgeous ocean green that reminds me of like Little Mermaid. And I think this would also be really pretty with this green over top. So I am very stoked for all the products that I got from Makeup Geek. I don't think this will be my last order. I'm pretty sure in the future when I'm done with my shopping freeze, which I will get to in another video, um, I will be doing another order from Makeup Geek for sure. So let me know what your guys' favorite Makeup Geek products are because I really want to start making kind of a wish list for when I make another purchase so let me know if you have any suggestions um, push the like button if you enjoyed this video as well as subscribe so that you can continue watching more of my videos I'll see you guys later bye